Senior banker Rosiri Palatenekun says that priority should be given to identify the real culprits behind the bond scam rather than looking for who issued the extraordinary gazette that has been issued. Now on Thursday, the presidential commission to investigate the bond issue adjourned the session until Monday as the extraordinary gazette published on the 1st of January 2015 was challenged before the commission. When the Presidential Commission of Inquiry to investigate and inquire into the issuance of Treasury bonds convened on Thursday, attorneys representing the Attorney General's Department pointed out the Extraordinary Gazette published on the 1st of January 2015 had hinted on the issuance of bonds to take place later that year. It was also noted that the Gazette had been published bearing the signature of the then Minister of Finance, Mahindu Rajapaksa, by virtue of powers vested in him by the Registered Stock and Securities Ordinance. When inquired about that matter, the Secretary to the Ministry of Finance said he was not aware of such a gazette. The Commission adjourned its sessions to Monday, ordering for a report from the government printer. I am currently seeking legal advice to file cases against the Ministry of Finance and the Central Bank. After the 9th, I was not the Minister of Finance. Therefore, I am hoping to file cases against this. The bond issue took place on the 25th of February. The Gazette was announced on the 15th of September 2015. Whose signature does it bear? In the village, we call them the next level rogues. They are trying to say that Mahinda Rajapaksa committed the bond scam. The Anti-Corruption Front today called on former President Mahindra Rajapaksa to file a police complaint against the central bank officials, the Secretary of the Ministry of Finance and the Finance Minister if he had not signed an impunched gazette that set up the controversial bond sale. In a statement, Kirti Tenekun, consultant of the Anti-Corruption Front, said he did not believe Rajapaksa had issued the gazette relating to the central bank bond scam, which is considered as the largest financial fraud to have ever taken place in the history of the country. Me According to this Gazette paper, it is evident that they knew the bonds for 1,010,058 rupees will be accepted at an interest rate of 12.5%. This is not something that can take place. The purchase value is usually an approximate value. You cannot predict the exact value of the interest rate. No expert can do that. When the documentation with regard to the bond was being put together, Mahindra Rajapaksa was not the finance minister. As per the normal process, the deputy governor on behalf of the CBSL must notify the ministry secretary. The secretary of the ministry of finance is the person who would get the signature of the minister. The signature for an event that took place in March 2015 should be obtained by the Minister of Finance who was holding office at that time and not the previous Finance Minister. It is clear that they are trying to make the public believe that former President Mahinda Rajapaksa is connected to the bond scam. This is a cunning act to get that idea across. There is a possibility that the attention can be drawn away from the real culprits of the bond scam because of this. Government printer Gangani Kalpani Lianake stated that the report with regard to the extraordinary gazette in question has been prepared and that it will be produced to the Presidential Commission of Inquiry on Monday. She added that the Commission has raised several questions with regard to the extraordinary gazette notification and that the answers have been included in the report. News First also inquired about the matter from the Secretary of the Presidential Commission, Sumati Pala Urugam Surya. Urugam Surya stated that a decision can be reached once the report of the government printer is produced before the Commission on Monday. What we must understand is that the investigation was for the purpose of determining and finding out whether any uh, irregularity has taken place in the bond issues in the central bank and also whether there has been any favorations by any party towards any particular party. And also there was another basic very important factor whether there has been a loss to the government or, and to the central bank by this action, by the various actions that was taken during this uh, bond issue. The question of the gasset notification who, as to who has issued it and for what purpose it has been issued is totally irrelevant as far as we can see. And we, we hope that it will not be a sort of a deviation from the main team of the, the, the terms of reference of the presidential commission. So therefore, the country is waiting to see why, uh, whether this has been some kind of a, uh, a pressure, tact, some, some tactic used by somebody to deviate from the main, uh, main uh, investigation process. Whether the gazette notification is right or wrong, 
The bond issuance remains a scam.